we're back, ladies and gentlemen, to the 2020 Cardinals Fantasy Camp, 20th anniversary. We're chasing another ring. If you haven't seen the prior episodes of the Fantasy Camp, you should check out the last one. This year's Fantasy Camp vlog, we're gonna take a little behind the scenes look of the people that actually make Fantasy Camp happen. Because we certainly need the big leaguers and the legends, but there's a lot of work that goes into putting this Fantasy Camp. So let's get to know some of those folks and uh, we're gonna be chasing a ring. We've got our tryouts first. I don't know what team I'm gonna be on yet. And uh, we're gonna get going. First thing, some stretching. Stretching, done. Now we're gonna go take some ground balls, fly balls, little batting practice. They call it tryouts, but uh, everybody gets drafted. So, uh, still trying to get the things loosened up. Our first game this afternoon. So this is where the morning meetings happen, but what happens at the morning meetings stays at the morning meetings, but this is the main clubhouse. I'm on Alan Bennis' team. So I was on Alan Bennis' team last year. Don't know many of my teammates, which is fantastic. We're looking forward to getting to know them, but we've got our first game. We're playing six games of the course of the next four days, and uh, we're ready to play some baseball. So uh, let's get out there. just finished the first inning um, three to three already we uh, had a number of nice hits a couple walks I walked my first at bat playing second base um, their team hit a home run over the fence out there I mean just a bomb and with one of the campers too which is even more impressive but uh, feeling good about our team we'll see how this game goes and uh, gonna try to keep a positive attitude and uh, we got a lot of baseball ahead of us game one All right, it's day two. I'm feeling pretty good. The sorest thing that I have on my body is my left elbow, and I have absolutely no idea what I did with my left elbow, but I'm feeling pretty good. We're 0-1. We've got the team meeting, then we're doing pictures, then we're doing uh, some instruction where we're gonna hear from Bruce Suter, Whitey Herzog, Ozzie Smith, amongst others, which is a ton of fun. And then we've got two games today. And that's really not until later in the day. So we've got a little bit of time to relax and uh, take care of some of these other things. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the schedule. This is where the magic happens. And this place is run like a Swiss train. And, and Swiss trains do run really efficiently. I mean, that's a, there's a reason for that statement. It's really the team here with the Cardinals and from, through the fantasy camp that keeps this thing running as smoothly as it does. I, I've gotten a lot of emails from Cadence over the years. Yes, you have. You help organize. <laughs> make, what is your official role and title for, for Fantasy Camp? So I am the supervisor of our Fantasy Camp, so that's my official title. But if you will, I'm the logistics queen. The logistics <laughs> queen. And there are a lot of logistics. How many people do we have here? We have 138 campers and 39 alumni. What do you enjoy the most about camp? Oh gosh, the best thing is just seeing everybody really living out their fantasies. It's so um, much fun. Obviously, being right. Fantasy Camp. Thanks for everything. Oh, you do, course, I really enjoy course. it. Look around every once in a while. We say, we say that every year. Don't be afraid to kind of just look around and soak it in and realize I'm not in the office. <laughs> We're heading to the instruction. Let's count the Cardinals that are here that are part of the National Baseball Hall of Fame. Number one, Whitey Herzog. Hall of Famer number two, recently announced for his induction, former Cardinals catcher, Ted Simmons. Number three, Bruce Suter. Number four, another recent inductee, Larry Walker. Last, and certainly not least, the wizard, Ozzy Smith. So we're, we're here with Whitney Clark, 
And so what's your official title here? At the... uh, so I'm an account services executive. Okay. What have you enjoyed the most about your couple camps that you've done so far? Um, it has been amazing to get to meet everyone. And also then just being able to have this many alumni, being in the presence of all this greatness is just an amazing experience. All right. Well, thanks for everything you've done. Definitely. Right. I've enjoyed it. Thanks, Whitney. Thank you. One, two, three, go, go cards! All right, game two, three o'clock in the afternoon. I mean, it is absolutely gorgeous day for, for baseball. Start we got down. smeared 12 to four, but um, I made my pitching debut, pitched three innings, gave up two runs and, and then the, my last two runs were clean once I settled down. The, the lesson of the game is, you know, everybody's got to contribute, you got to try new things and you got to keep your head up when, when you're losing. Uh, this is, I've never started a camp 0 and 2, but uh, we're still having fun. Game three, under the lights, we're 0 and 2, but uh, we're having fun. That's the lesson for these next few games. We're gonna have fun, we're gonna bond, and get to know some more of my teammates. I got a great group of guys. Sorry, they just fell ball at me. Um, I'm gonna get back to the game now. I'm here with the man. Joe Pfeiffer, what is your official title with the Cardinals? I am the Director of uh, Account Services, Corporate Sales, and Director of Alumni Relations. A director of Alumni yeah. Relations, which I've learned is a very important role, particularly for the alumni that like to come back to camp. I think so. I think they like uh, being here. And, which is yeah. an important role. It's, it's important a great role. role. It's a I, I, I'm, I'm envious. Role. What is one of the more challenging things that you have to face? It's just part of the organization and, and doing everything. You know, we're fortunate that, um, you know, I talk to other clubs uh, around the league, and it, it can be harder to get alumni. Uh, to come to their okay. camps, and, and we don't have that challenge. But uh, we're fortunate that we have such good alumni all over the country that uh, that step up for us when we need them. All right, well, it looks like you're needed over here, Joe. I really enjoy it. Thanks, Thanks for everything you do. So we're 0-3, and we had a heartbreaking loss yesterday where we were winning pretty much the entire game, 6-3, to three, and then in the last inning, we gave up four runs and lost 7-6. to six. But... Uh, We've got a great group of guys. We're having a ton of fun. We've played some really good baseball, but we're 0-3. We still have three more games of baseball. We're already mathematically eliminated from playing in the championship, but uh, that's okay. And I think that's the leadership lesson is that, you know, sometimes it just doesn't work out like you'd hope. And, you know, that's all right, because you still are going to play some baseball. So uh, let's, uh, let's get to it. All right, I'm here with Gretchen Bruni. You've been at all the camps. Larry Walker, Hall of Famer, ladies and gentlemen, just passed us. Well, what do you enjoy the most about, about camp? Wow, that's a tough question. I think really just seeing the interactions between our alumni and the campers. Cause yeah. We have great alumni, as you know. We do. Um, they're very engaging, and it's just cool to see the relationships built between campers year after year with alumni. And they it, become friends and, it, and it, family. It's, it really, it's amazing, the engagement, yeah. and just how close I am now with former Cardinals, right. and a couple, particularly some of the guys that were heroes of me growing up. So for sure. thanks for everything you, you, you do. We, oh, we yeah. appreciate it. Thank you. All right, thanks, Gretchen. We got our last game of the regular season. We're one in four. It's been a heck of a camp. Great teammates playing at Roger Dean Stadium. One and four. The David Eckstein. Yeah, we lost to those guys too. Um, but we're heading to Roger Dean Stadium. I'm going to swing at strikes today. Let's go, Roger Dean. Any words of wisdom, Mr. Eckstein? Keep your eyes open. <laughs> I got my glasses on. Oh, today. good, good, good. <laughs> All right. You have a chance. Thank you. MVP of the World Series Championship Cardinals, David Eckstein. Pretty cool, huh? Roger Dean Stadium. This is where spring training happens. The good news, the team that we're playing out here on Roger Dean hasn't won a game. The bad news is they're looking for their first victory. But uh, it's gonna be a beautiful day for baseball. Still enjoying it at one and four. Play 
ball. It's 13 to one. We're wrapping up the, the tournament here and I'm gonna wrap up the vlog. We did not make the championship game, but what baseball is about is about camaraderie. It's about fathers and sons. I will tell you the thing that I have enjoyed the most about camp is seeing Jeff Perkins with his three sons playing baseball. Really, if you go back and watch my first vlog, the reason I got into baseball was because of my late father who passed away 15 years ago and I never had the chance to actually play on a diamond with my dad. And so that's what baseball is about. It's about camaraderie, it's about family, it's about friendship, and it's not always about winning. So thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like and subscribe and stay tuned for more exciting content on the Doug Cody channel.